Hi, and welcome to the People's Pantry. Today's recipe is called sour cream salad. I've made salads before. We had the green salad with oranges and the milk and mayonnaise dressing, and we had the jack-o'-lantern salad, which was orange jello, and carrots. Today's recipe is unlike the other salads we've made in the past. What I find most confusing about this recipe is I have no idea when you would serve this, nor why. I've never had potato salad or pasta salad or any of those bowls of picnic salads that you see on television all the time. I've missed out on a wide variety of dairy-based salads. So maybe this is not such a weird thing and I'm overreacting? Look, I'm not the salad police, but I feel like salad should have at least some consistency. Soup is always some kind of liquid, usually served in a bowl. Perhaps like the emergency hors d'oeuvres, this is some sort of emergency fridge salad. What I do like about this recipe is the leftover mini marshmallows that I've been eating all week. I'm actually a little disappointed that this recipe doesn't call for the multicolored flavored mini marshmallows. Really a lost opportunity. Sour cream salad. It looks kind of like fruit salad that I used to have when I was a kid, except usually that had raisins and nuts in it, and this just looks like a nightmare. <laughs> I can smell the sour cream. I'm not too thrilled about it. It's a very bizarre mix of flavors. Hold on. It's not that it's terrible. It's just kind of weird. It's kind of weird because you taste the sour cream a lot at first and then you taste the fruit and fruit is good. But fruit with sour cream is not so good. But fruit and marshmallows is pretty good. I don't know. I give it a uh, six out of 10, six and a half out of 10. It's edible. We're on the upper end of the scale here. I've taken three bites, so it's just weird. It's not bad, it's just weird, like me. Yeah.